Well, I guess I would be surprised at the magnitude of the upside of the development of uh, new technology type of companies, the magnitudes of that. You know, I've been <clears throat> very bullish on China for a very long time. But when I came in 1984, I gave people $10 calculators and they thought that they were miracles. And to see how it's uh, flourished and to see how entrepreneurship has flourished in China has taken my breath away. I would say that's the number one. There's a, a, a debt challenge, too fast debt growth. Um, and that makes for a very difficult political and social challenge because there's a question of how to deal with the money. And um, what they've been able to do most recently is to create simultaneously a liberalization of the lending system. So it used to be that there were five major banks that will lend to state-owned enterprises. They developed a uh, shadow banking system, and that shadow banking system was in many ways great and in many ways immature and terrible lending. And they got control over that, and they also contracted lending. This is the first time that you're seeing lending growth approximate GDP growth. And with that, they are continuing to keep the economy on the right track. China's a very big and difficult and diverse economy to run. And to be able to do those things has been uh, you know, pretty impressive.